Hello everybody and welcome to the Tattered Lace Lost in Lace Workshop. Another just beautiful collection from Tattered Lace. Now these are three exceptional dies. We've gone with the larger sizes again. There's some beautiful lace elements within these as well. They are just stunning. So I just quickly want to show you the dies. Okay, so look how big that's my hand. That's a big die. In fact, if I put my hand that way, that's only half of the butterfly. So first of all, we have this beautiful, absolutely beautiful flower. So it's more like a fuchsia. So it's a bell-like flower. Okay. But there's lots and lots of snippability in this. So we'll go through that when we go through the boards. Absolutely exquisite butterfly. Just stunning. Again, lots of lots and lots of snippability. And then if I can separate the boards, we've got the heart. And again, the most, there's just incredible amount of snippability in these, but look how big it is. It's huge. So going from making your card blanks right through to maybe making bunting, etc. Think of this for your uh, Valentine bunting. If you're doing a get together or something for that, or maybe it's just a girl's night in and you're all just going to have an evening of chocolate and hot chocolate and wine and things like that again just a fabulous fabulous die lots and lots to work with so those are the dies and these are the cuts so these are the two different sizes of the matte layer which is the solid die and then you have that exquisite lace now as soon as you start looking at the pieces when you look at these already there are lots of hearts in this that is snippability. So we're not just giving you one. There's lots more that we can work with. Also, by using those two matte layers together, you got frames. Lots more that you can work with. And aren't they just exquisite? They're just lovely. So maybe you've done a matte layer and then you want to just add a simple frame around that. But this frame is actually perfect because it's the dies that you've used. You've not got to guess or go and look for another set of dies to create that. Now we're talking about the snippability. So this is our first two, which I will actually go through with you and cut these so you can see what we're talking about. So there's the original. Already, we've snipped away the top pieces and we've snipped off that frill, okay? Then we've done something a little bit different. We've taken the center out to make a frame and then again, snipped away on here look taken that away to change the shape bottom shape of the actual uh, heart and then taken the two top pieces away same again another frame kept it all intact but snipped it at the middle and then again taken the same piece away but then taken away that top edge all of these snips as well will then go on to create other elements just look at the amount of snips that you're getting, how far you can take your creativity with these boards. So, again, snipping into all of this, these are all from that same die, okay? So from that same heart lace, this is what you're getting. Turn it into a butterfly. Beautiful, isn't that just gorgeous? So now I'm thinking about the vellums and the acetate and the printed elements that you can actually use to make these really pretty. Again, those hearts make them wings. They're just fabulous. Maybe you want a few of these. Put these on top of your matte layers of your hearts. Again, another butterfly, different orientation, but still using. The then we do go into that huge butterfly. Now, just incredible, the size for one. Um, it's just a fabulous, but it also is going to make a lovely journal, this. If you did snip away this, it's more like a book page, isn't it? Think of it already bent, that perspective of those, those actual pages. Again, stunning. So those are the two matte layers. There is that fabulous piece of lace. Again, it is stunning. But already, are you seeing the snippability of where we can go with this and how many different pieces we can have from one die cut? The frames, <coughs> excuse me, that I was talking about earlier. 
Now we're snipping into that lace. Now we're taking out those pieces and changing the shape. So this one is a larger one. This again has been snipped too. So we're taking off those layers. Different butterflies left as a whole with all these pieces. And let's take away one section. Let's take the next one away and we're left with this. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then we've got the ones. But then adding in your extras, we've got little extra wings on these as well. So it's just so much fun when you can start creating all of these different elements. Maybe you're not thinking it's a butterfly. Maybe it's a little um, lace wing moth or a, a little lace wing bu uh, bug. And there it is in some of it, you know, when I, in fact, I don't know if the camera there. Let me stop there. Just there. Look, can you see that glitter? So then you start thinking about adding elements of glitter into your actual cuts. So these could be lifted up like so. So that is just the beginning of where you can go with this. And then the flower. So again, both matte layers, just exquisite, aren't they lovely? And it's almost like it reminds me of maybe um, an alien and this is its beard and all you need to do is put some eyes on that and that could be like, um, I don't know, something from one of the cartoons or whatever, but it is fabulous. I love this. Then that is the piece of lace that you're getting as well. All of this snips away, turn it the other way up. It can be a bell, so take that away and it's a bell. Lots of snippability again. And then this is where we're going. So we've got that beautiful bell element, snipping all the pieces away. We've got the hearts or it's a dress, which is just fabulous. Same again, all of these different elements. So snipping these away, put these side by side. And that's another set of wings for the butterfly added on. So versatility knows no ends with all of this, just like so. So we're then we're thinking about taking the middle of the butterfly that we've already got and adding in extra elements and then maybe turning it into something more of a moth. Again, just stunning. So that and that isn't everything. That's not all of the, the ways that we've got. So these are just some of the designs that the DT have done for us. Layering up, changing the, the shape, adding in a uh, texture by uh, turning the, the actual, if I show you there, that's been turned back on itself. There's the die. It's been rolled back to lift up the actual wings. All of these in different shades, which make it look beautiful. And then adding in, we've all got buttons, beads, flowers that we can put on something like this. So that's the first one. I am absolutely in love with this. Look how bright and cheerful that is. Now that is using our 12 by 12 craft master card stock. Again, all this snippability, look at all this, the, all this dimension that's on here, all these different layers, it is just stunning. Then the hearts, not just any heart, it's a fabulous easel. So if I lay that down, you can see, again, using that butterfly, adding layers, and dimension again it is just the what you can do the, the it's just wonderful the versatility again look at this adding in from our um uh, card stash using those backing papers in conjunction what you've already got because there's no reflections with this there's no charisma this is just as um the lace okay so it speaks for itself one the versatility of how you can snip into it. So this is where you're going to be able to let your imagination go. You can really play with all of these using all three in conjunction and working with them together because they all mix and match beautifully. So that is the flower. We've seen the heart. OK, use it in conjunction with what you've already got. So just simple. Um, our nested, our actual nested uh, uh, fundamentals, but she's cut the heart out and then just cut the lace with the fundamental. So again, because of how big the piece is, think of other ways of using it with the other things. Just using, again, picking out your backing papers, adding in the, the heart above the top, 
adding that extra dimension. The, the flower is no longer a flower on this one. It's a wedding dress and there's a lovely little coat hanger that's holding it on there. The versatility is incredible. So I'm going to stop with the actual samples. I'm going to leave a few for us to show some more at the end. But what I'm actually going to build for you, let me bring this in. So this is the card we're going to make but it's a twisted easel, okay? Like so. So if I just sit that up like that, that is just gorgeous, isn't it? So lovely twisted easel using the butterfly and then at the base as the stopper, we've got some florals, paper flowers, which I'm sure a lot of us have got in our stash and then we've snipped into that heart as well. So we're using the two in conjunction with each other, okay? So, bringing this in so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the snipping so I'm going to cut around here and I know it might seem a little bit wasteful just snipping straight into it but let's take it all the way around the edge so following that cut okay really easy to do oops to the next one this is going to be the stopper okay so looking at all the opportunity that you've got to the to do the snipping on these once you start actually working with it you'll see what I mean by the versatility and how much there is to actually work with and play with. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down in place with wet glue because then I'm going to cut around the outside edge. Tap off the excess glue but also by doing that I'm picking up glue on the other pieces. And that can just sit on there. I'm just going to leave that to one side to set. And then we have all of these pieces like so. So to start off with, shake off some of that excess. Whoops. There we go. And then... Matte and layer the base together. So this is just a simple square using either your guillotine or your nested squares because I know we've all got nested shapes. So that can go on first. And then I've got a little bit of scoring to do and then we're going to start building up that beautiful butterfly. Okay. Oops. So that's the base. Making sure I've got that lined up. So that's the base done. Now this has had a chance to dry. I'm going to trim around here. I'm going to get rid of all that excess because I don't need, don't need all of that. And if I lay my scissors just to one side, I can cut just under the edge of that white cut as well. Like that all the way around. So, following that line, and then that is filled in the lace to the back. Okay, so that's that piece. And then I'm going to glue on my flowers and actually put my foam on this so it's ready to situate in place. So, that's one. 
to and then these can be sat drying while we build the rest of it so one two like this push them together and that's the third one so so they're all oops ran away that will give them time to set and dry and now we can start building so let me bring it back in so I can show you I'm going to open it up can you see that first big piece has been scored down that edge so that's the first piece we're going to do oh bring in the scoreboard thing Score down that edge. Like that. Just going to reinforce that score. Like so. Okay, so that's the first piece. Now I'm going to bring it back in and show you again. We've then scored. So if I turn that the right way around so you, you're with me, you can see. We've gone from left down to right with that score line, okay? So we're going to do that. So where that score line finishes there. Like so. Okay. And again, you can see that's the score line. And it's going to bend away from us, okay? So that, if I turn it over needs to go that way so it's going that way okay so if I hold that in place like that can you now see that that's going to be glued to the base and that is the score okay so that is ready to go so let's situate that on the card again so you can get your actual sentiment and things on. I'm going to go up to the top. Just going to make sure we're straight on this side. Just pull it over a little bit. And again, pop that to one side so that is now drying along with everything else. And then we're going to build up all of these layers on to bring all of this in okay so the first lot of layers we're going to pop our foam tape on so this builds up the base and then a shadow so foam tape on this one It on those antennas because we want to keep them grouped together take the backing off and I'm choosing to use um, a two mil tape but again you can um, use whatever your your actual favorite would be we all have our favorite mediums that we like you working with you might choose to put that as a flat mat, but that is there. Then this one, we've only got a little bit, so because it gives us movement here. So now this is going to go on top like so. Flip that over. And we're only putting tape on these. And I'm going to leave the antenna free. Pop these on here. So this is our second layer. So we've created, when you put this on here and you use foam tape, it does create a beautiful shadow. Maybe when you're working with it at home, you'll, be, you'll see that much better. Then we have the lace layer. And again, I'm only going to put glue on this one, but here, okay. 
I'm only sticking it here because I want all of this movement, I want all of this to be free to be able to add in shape. Now this is where we're going to start doing a little bit of snipping. So first of all, we've got the larger one here. Let's snip in each side like so. I turn that round. Snip away. Oops. Down here like this. We're going to take all of this away. Keep going, keep going, keep going. To here. And then I'm going to create a little V. Like so. Get rid of the waste because it's only going to be in the way. We're not using any of that. Bring all the way around. Back round here. When we get to here, I'm just going to go with the flow of the actual wing. Same thing again. Join it up. And then snip around the edge. And again, snip a little V where they meet. And then come back out to the rest of the lace. I'm going to work, whoops, all the way around the edge to create another set of wings like so. Isn't that stunning? And again, this one, get rid of my waist, I'm only gluing on that body like this. So that's going to nest on top. So, and because I've used wet glue, it gives me a little bit of time to manipulate that and get it lined up. So I'm happy with that. So then the next one, you see how many layers we can go for this one. We're going with this one on the inside edge. Snip to there. Follow it round. like so, because I want those two little pieces in there. And because it's symmetrical, it means that we can be the same on, on all of it and we can see that they all meet, meet up in the same place. So it's quite easy when you're snipping it where to follow so again on this one, I'm looking that I'm keeping these two pieces. Okay. Again, snip around. And then I want the piece that's got the mirrored moons or sections in there. So follow that all the way around. And cut all the way back up to the body, like so. And then take that one away. So now we've got more glitter. So that is going to go like this. So just settle that in place. And then the final one. We're going to take all of these elements out and we're only going to go for this small little butterfly in the middle. But now think about all of those. Um, think about all of those little options. Go around here. the snippability because when you actually look at the piece of lace it really does start becoming evident of where you're snipping you can see all those beautiful butterflies now think about all those things that you've got you've got vellum absolutely you've got vellum 
you've got um, maybe printed acetates, you've got different colored card stocks. Maybe you've got a certain card stock that you've kind of fell out of love with. You liked it at once upon a time, but you're keeping it because you bought it, which I totally understand. And then you think, you know what? If out of lace, you cut the lace panel out of it, it means that you're not going to see all of that pattern anymore. But the versatility of using the lace will really bring it to life and give you make, make sure you're using the elements that you would normally say, you know what, I'm not really over fussed about that one anymore. I'll just keep it in the cupboard. Well, this gives you the absolute opportunity of using those elements, getting everything out that you may think at the end of the day, you spent money on it, didn't you? You want to keep it. So now that is the butterfly all built up. So if we bring back in the card blank, do you remember that we had the three layers? Okay, we scored again. Now we need to pop our butterfly on here. So I'm going to use a bit of wet glue for this. And here. like that, line that up, stick that down and I'm just going to let that take a second before I start moving it around because I know for certain I'm definitely going to just give it a really good press. There we go. So that's where we stand it up. So that's the twisted easel. Isn't it absolutely stunning? I think taking it that, that little bit further and putting in your vellums and your acetate, or maybe even you've printed one of the beautiful rice paper backing papers that's maybe vintage in feel. And that is going to be that piece at the back, the solid element that you're going to then look through all these layers to actually see. Adding all of this dimension with cutting all of these beautiful wings out on here brings it to life, doesn't it? It's definitely going to be one of those cards that if somebody receives this and, and they get a visitor, they're going to say, how on earth, what, how did they make that? Just incredible. Now, finally, we need the stopper. So, oops. If you remember at the beginning, we cut out the middle of the heart. So this again is the same dies. So... Take that away and I always, so I'm going to use my tweezers because I'm going to keep my fingers out of the way so you can see. I'm actually going to stand that up, okay? I'm going to stand it up and position it, then put my stopper in place and then let go. And I, I never put my stopper down until I've done that because sometimes, because you want to get the right angle. You don't want it stood up like that because then that's not really the angle that you need. You don't want it too far forward so it looks like it's laid down. You want it that it actually looks like it is a stopper. So always, just as a check, before you stick it down, glue, glue your stopper down. Hold your card where you want it to be so you get that nice angle. And that is that fabulous card recreated. So now all that you need to do is pop your little sentiment down here, or maybe you want more flowers, or maybe you want little pieces of the butterfly. You could actually cut the lace out and put the lace heart panel on the base. So there's so many different ways you can now work to change that. That's just a little starting point, really, a jumping off point to what you can do. So let's ch now show you a last few of our samples that we've got. Sorry, just let me just move this because this is covered in glitter. And just, it's this, oh dear. I'm sorry, Andrew. This is, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but, who everybody needs a little sparkle in their life, don't they? Of course they do. So now, just look what you can create. As I was saying, that they work together beautifully. They absolutely.
absolutely do. So look, we've got that beautiful bell, the flower, with the, the, the butterfly behind. And again, using our stash, it's one of the wonderful ways that Tattered Lace allow us to be able to do this by using that stash. And it speaks for itself. Let the lace and all of the, the shape and everything, the design of the, of the image, do all the work for you. And then you get all of the creativity to play with. So that's that one. This again, I love this because we've got everything going on here. We've got the flower. Again, changing, just changing the orientation of something that you're working with really changes the perspective of what you're looking at. We've got the heart in the background and then snipped into that butterfly. Isn't it beautiful? And then some of the flower, flowers is on this side as well. Again, that is a lovely way to balance that card by mirroring what's happening over here and having it flat on this side. Lovely, lovely card. This one, this one's gone all out. Look at this. That's a proper butterfly. So we've got the butterfly wings at the bottom. We've got the pieces from the flower that are the rest of the butterfly. The butterfly itself and then even extending those wings with the heart. Again, very simple colourways. We've only stuck with two colours with this one. Beautiful. I love this. Using the actual lace in the background to create your backing papers. Lovely, lovely idea. Adding in the little heart accents. Again, using all of those pieces. And then looking just here, right in this piece here, those are the dropout lace pieces of the lace. Just pop back in where they were but in a different colourway. So the paper piece in potential is just phenomenal. <coughs> Excuse me. And then bringing this one in, this is my final one. We've already had it as a dress, but isn't that just stunning? Absolutely love that, that we've got the hearts and this is all now layered up. Just wonderful. Again, giving you the opportunity of using your stash, your ribbons, your pearls, your glitters, Everything just works beautifully together. So again, that's the flower and the heart. So lots and lots of inspiration there for you to be able to have a go with. Thank you so much for coming along and joining me and watching um, the new launch for the Tattered Lace. Um, hopefully you'll be able to show us your makes. We like to see what you're doing um, and also the cardstock and things that we use also on highlightcrafts.com so if you you're looking for the card stocks backing papers all that kind of thing usbs are all on highlightcrafts.com or andrew will also put a link down there for you to be able to access it as well so again thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you all again soon goodbye if you want to see more from highlight crafts make sure you click the like button subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.